Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu, you know me for a lot of videos on your iPad. Today we'll talk about downloads file because something changed on 2020 on the configuration and that may make some confusion. So let's see how we download file from websites in a very fast way using the vb.net uh, code. So there are two ways to download this file. So there are where you have a website, where you have a URL. For example, I'm here on this website. I, I click on this one and you see on the bottom the URL, banner files, blah, blah, and you have the full URL. In this case, you'll do it like this. You have it on the uh, on my GitHub. You have code for um, uh, download the file. I will go copy paste the vb.net code. I'll put, the, I'll put the code also on this um, on the description of this movie. I will have on your iPad Studio, I will have an invoke code. On this invoke code, I will copy paste the code. Let's put here uh, that I will put it on the uh, YouTube on the test uh, YouTube uh, YouTube uh, eight thirty. Okay, and let's put here the the URL. Yeah, so the URL uh, I have it here. You have ways to extract the the uh, the URL from the website. So I will copy paste the URL there, and with this code you will be able to download. But let's see the configuration because. The configuration it's a little bit different. So I add the I add my code here. Okay, and now you see that I have a sign that uh, something is not uh, okay. So I work with Visual Basic .net. So on the properties I have Visual Basic .net. To be able to uh, to work with Visual Basic .net here I use some .net stuff. So I have to go here on the import and say system.net I will add system.net then I will go and say system.net http I will add system.net http and then I will say system.net http headers okay so be sure that you add all this stuff after you add all this stuff you will hit save. I will exit. I will go back to the project and go again on the file. You see, now I don't have any issues. Yeah. So remember, copy paste the code, import all this stuff with system.net, uh, system.net, system HTTP, system HTTP headers. Close the file and open the file again and you don't have any problems. Now I will go. Let's go to the test folder. So we'll go to the, the, the test folder. Uh, I have here some uh, some files. Let's uh, run the code and we'll see the result. I run the code. And the system on the background will go and download my file. Finish. And here you have the YouTube 30 file, which is a document, a Romanian bank, blah, blah. Good. That's, uh, that's done. Now, there is another case where, so here was the case where I have the link. You have the URL of the, the file. But there are other cases where you don't have the link. For example, here. When I go and download the big file from here, let's say that I don't have the URL of, of this file. So I have to go and let's say that I'm in Salesforce and I have to build a report and so on. So I want to go click some um, uh, click some button and then download the file. Yeah. And when you download the file, the file will be huge. And because the file is huge, something has to go and uh, um, uh, wait for this one. Yeah. So to be able to understand, uh, to uh, to work with uh, download files where you don't have URLs and where they are big and you need to wait for this one, I have another solution. First, I use Google uh, Chrome. So on Google Chrome, you need to go to this, write this, set Google Chrome to download automatically, set the Google to download automatically in Chrome. So open Google Chrome settings, privacy, Additional permit is automating download. Yeah. So 
So these are the settings that you find on the internet. In my software, you have Google Chrome settings downloads. And here I have disable ask uh, to save each file before downloading. So I don't want to ask, yeah? So the download will be automatically and will be in my case in, uh, in user Christian Negulescu downloads, okay? So I have these settings. Be sure that you set your Chrome like this. So what I will do, I will have here um, a workflow that first I will have a uh, visual basic.net code that will check on the folder downloads and check what is the last uh, file. Yeah. So the, uh, the last file as a time is this one, ask question 2000, uh, uh, 2020. Yeah. And this will exit, will, uh, will, um, create an argument which is last str yeah so this will be the the name of the last file then what i will do i will open the browser to click on this so i have this one basically i will open this browser and i will put the system to click on this so i simulate something from uh, from your yeah so i open the browser uh, maximize and click on this one then i have another code on you on uh, visual basic.net and this code on Visual Basic .net will check the same file and will stay on a loop. So this code will stay on a loop. We'll have a slip of one second and we'll check if the new file that is coming, uh, uh, it's finished. So um, the, the new file that is coming on, on downloads should be uh, a full file. So should have the extension bin in our case. We need to know the extension in our case, the system that is downloading is bin. And should be different from the last file, yeah? So basically, uh, to be sure that uh, I'm downloading a new file, you'll have a, another name, yeah? So I will stay on a loop until the file will be finished. So this is the code. I will put it on the GitHub. And let's see how this is working, yeah? So here on the UI path, on the UI part, you put what you want your, uh, your stuff to do, all the clicks and so on, to arrive to the, the point where you download the file, but this is the way how you wait for the file. So I will hit run. The system will open the test file uh, download. And you see the system is downloading the file, yeah? And it's a huge file. And my robot will stay on a loop until this uh, this uh, file will be downloaded. If we go to uh, uh, to the download folder, you can see here that um, you have a temporary file that is growing, yeah? So that's why I say that I want the extension to be bin, because I know the, um, in your case, you have to, uh, on your system that you download, uh, you have to, uh, to um, to know the extension of the file. So you run the robot one time, you extract the extension of the file, and then you, you decide, or you build your own rule. And you see my robot is staying on a loop until the file will be downloaded. So what we'll do after he finish, after the, the, the system will finish, you will see a um, uh, message box that the, uh, the end of the download, yeah? So basically this code, this um, invoke code that it's in, in visualbasic.net, it's staying on a loop, waiting for the file to be downloaded. And when he see another file that it's um, uh, fully integrated and it's newer than the, the last file name, then we'll say that, look, that's empty. And uh, this is um, the end of the, uh, um, the download part, yeah? So in this way, you wait for uh, to uh, you, you wait for uh, downloading a file that done. So the file it's end end of the download. So the file was empty. So the robot can go further. And you see you have one giga file here. Okay. So these are the two ways to do fast downloading from the website. When you know the URL, you have the this code. VisualBasic.net. Put the URL. Put the um, put the location where you want to download. And remember to add .NET, .NET HTTP and HTTP headers. When you have a file where, when you have a file where you don't know the name, you don't have the URL, 
do an uh, uh, do the code on the downloads. Be sure that you you configure. Um, be sure that you configure your Google to be automatically download and you don't have ask for for downloading. Then uh, do the um, you do this code to get the last file the last file as a date from downloads or from the folder where you want to download. Maybe it's not downloads. Do your stuff with the UI automation, and then do this um, uh, loop to check if the file will be if uh, if the new file will be downloaded and then go further. If you like my movies, as usual, please subscribe to my channel and ask me what else you want to see on my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Stay safe.